Hey guys, welcome back to a video. My name is Mr. Watchdog, and today we're gonna be playing. Oh my god, uh, today we're gonna be playing some more after party. Now, in the last episode, we ended up here in this weird looking place that sounds like Oxen Free, and uh, now we're trying to sneak into a place called Sealed Knots with uh, trying to disguise as a demon. Because you know, this weird looking demon kind of looking like three kids stacked on top of each other. He called himself the Demon of Foot Hands, and he got in, so we're trying to find our way in. Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. This place kind of looks like uh, that place from Star Wars of Wars of Evil. You know that one place where, like, queens go? It was, like, in the last season. Sculptures. Look at this place. This place kind of looks like a university. The Karma Magistratus. The Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting... No, it's a one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs... What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Hmm. Drunk children, please take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, uh. okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Help a Lutzelfrau out, all right? Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of. God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit! Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want. Uh, where's Hitler where you need him so he can be a Google Translate? Gosh, I don't understand what she's even saying. Uh, Your dress. dress. It, it's so. I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Kohl's. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Feed it to yeah. My little place will die so again. You like Lutzelfrau's Ebola-bellied rats, do you, my dear? Oh, oh, Lord in heaven, it's my face. It's so it's so delicious. <laughs> hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit! Let's go, guys. Come on, let's get some candy. Yeah. Oh, yes, come all. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay, now, hand over the dress. Hand, hand over the... the please, just kill me, please, Lola, quickly. Okay, follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits, you're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. Yeah, you're right. You are, you are on camera. So... You're sharing, I presume. Who's gonna be the head and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way taller, <laughs> aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Ta-da! 
I'll be honest. I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... What the... Hell is really filled with cockknockers, you know. You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much. It's... Your skull is pressed uh, up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not that easy to carry. Oh, watch it. Not kidding. Well, I'm not saying... Just forget it, it's fine. This you're, looks you're, so weird. You're light as a feather. A hummingbird feather. Just... Take it easy. Just stop humping my I'm neck. Not humping your neck. Just stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Okay, just forget it. Telly ho, telly, telly forth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. You gotta speak like Hitler, you know? Germans. You gotta be like Jojo Rat. I mean, yeah, Jojo Rabbit. I gotta say, this demon looks so weird. Like, his body. His body. Like, his hips move faster than his body. And his body is just like back. Let's just hope that we're gonna get inside this place. Oh, well, I think we might have to have, to have like a really good uh, we're idea. Napoleon in there, footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. How tall is this door? Wait a second, is my hat, can I, is my hat can I like slip off or something? Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together, upscale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy, he is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi, uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move, walk straight to the kitchen, and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. That guy is weird. Like, really weird. He's like a vampire. That's what he sounds Good like. evening, madam. Right this way. Good man. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> I get that a lot. You didn't hear anything. This place let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak. I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break? All right. <gasps> okay. That's just the demon that we need. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. <laughs> Holy shit! The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon. She's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay. Well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. What the? Oh my! What do you get? Boy, this is... I should take notes. They should let more people in here. Whoever can't see this is really what the missing out. Oh, thanks. I think I'm perfectly fine. That's a girl demon do it to it to a guy demon. And... I'm gonna vote this one small pee-pee. I'm gonna leave this room now. Okay. Whoa, this... That is... This is... We took a turn somewhere, because... Oh, gross, guy. Hello, Come fellow, on. Uh, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I can I help you with something? This is funny. <laughs> we look uh, pretty similar, right? Don't you think? Yeah, uh, classic summer style down here, right? I just can't get that get get that out of my mind. Those two D uh, auto demons. Mind if we? It's like one Smell big. That. Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I mm, didn't hear anything. You might not have heard something, but you surely said something. <laughs> He's saying he didn't hear anything. Gerald, calm down. 
Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today, I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this, um, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... by thesaurus. So, just out of curiosity, what did this bar used to be like then? Oh, crazy. Crazy. Uh, go ahead. It was crazy. Sex, drugs, and classical music by trained multi-limb chimerical beings. I mean, we still have the Chamber of Coitus, but what's a Chamber of Coitus without a Sphinx on piano? All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? I'll take a Blue Devil. Uh, the Blue Devil. Please. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wood. Newly counsel for the Who Gives a Shit. Oh, I'm no. This up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone. No one caught the spell's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. I uh, struck a butt. Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. The really? Scuttlebutt? Major General Scuttlebutt? Wait, this is a real person? Major, it's a pleasure to meet you. Ah. While you were serving on the northern flanks, I was fighting the Imperial Eagle in Heaven's Sixth Sphere. Remind me again, how was the combat in the Fixed Stars? Oh, I love a good war score. Oh, yes, I General, remember please, it was a Gala. piece of cake. A piece of, piece of cake. It was, uh, there was a lot of trumpets and wailing, but nothing old Scuttlebutt couldn't handle. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. There was a rumor going around that he'd become a pathetic vagrant, pooping himself and sleeping outside. Well, take it from me, General Scuttlebutt. Uh, uh, I'm very glad to know that that's you. obviously not the case. Your General Major Scuttlebutt? Uh, pleasure. Didn't know. So anyway, Glory stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Daryl, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Major Scuttlebutt? I was just about to ask oh, the same question. Oh, enough about work, yes. You bootlickers sure do love to, to talk about work, don't you? Can't, can't get enough of your jobs. What a weird word, Jobs. Sounds like a, a weird kind of animal, right? Can't talk, honey. Going job hunting. <laughs> Wait, that is something people say. Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. Actually, I'll we need to out-drink you. Anything. Ooh, I gotta go uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Wait, Warm guys, home? Polly isn't... Don't do this. <laughs> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. Oh it's been God, strange. So Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. Yeah, that's really interesting guys but i gotta go actually <laughs> you know, demon stuff oh okay well come back later if you want a break from whatever it is that's so important yeah we probably won't it was nice meeting you I nice meeting you too. successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being yeah i wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything let's just find a polyon and out drink the judge yeah i think she went in back let's uh take a look Kappa, Kappa, do you like what you see, Kappa? Kappa. What the? Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Major Scuttlebutt? Oh, oh certainly. certainly. No, I couldn't agree more. Humans are the worst. That's is that that's what you were saying. So that's what can demons do that? Oh god. My 
enemies are gonna okay. be angry at me the, tomorrow. Uh, the jig is thoroughly up. I, uh, we can see when the cards just aren't falling. We'll just be on our way now. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne. The king what? and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. Uh, Apollyon, please, we, we, uh... Your Honor, please, I, I know this looks bad, but, but believe us, we really don't belong here. Yeah, I know we just got exposed as confirmed liars and, and identity thieves, uh, but... Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more, to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Uh, um, how? What happened? Oh, it just feels weird. Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's office. <laughs> uh, seriously? Yes. Um, okay. No, Your Honor, Apollyon, Polly, I, we can't, we can't work for... That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. What's happening? You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Major Scuttlebutt. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Meow. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? What if Fair. he's innocent? We still have to outdrink. Wait him. a dang minute. We still gotta outdrink you for the seal? Even if, if if we do send a potentially innocent man to eternal damnation? You must respect the rules of the game, child, even though you may not respect the game itself. Oh, what a crock. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Meow. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. And yeah, ready? <sighs> I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh... I guess this video's to gonna speak? be longer than no usual. No learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. <laughs> if you say so. All ready? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat, and... See you on the other side, kids. What seat? Uh. You, uh, you wanna get in on this? Nah, it's all you, fam. Sent you to the wrong carpal tunnel. Whatever. Sorry about that. Whoa. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting... The toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I can really see because of the blue. Now, my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. Huh? It's just stupid rhubarb and monkey in a dance room. I need a drink. Yeah! Yeah! Here, yeah. here! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. I will take a I double, double talk. talk, please. Certainly, ma'am. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna help us here. Me, gentlemen, right over here. Down is your double talk, you Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts man to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tinnaville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tinnaville. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. What did oh, you hear? Shit, this is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. 
Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, your honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West Flanders. <gasps> it's that guy from the uh, outside. I never meant you know, the outside of the any harm. I Snuck. only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? No, I, I heard Roberto confess just uh, earlier tonight. <gasps> Oh my god. Well, whoever said that must know something. What? Who said that? That's impossible. Roberto's an innocent man. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I. Roberto's uh, a bad guy. We right need to get the seal so you can get out of hell. It's this is so annoying. I took a picture of it with an app that makes. It turns your face into a rabbit. They got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. I don't know what this is. Here, see? Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, he put that... Sorry, it's an inside joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food and I... Time's up! Trial's done and none too soon! Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you. Not guilty by reason what? of sorcery. Ah, <sighs> grazie. Uh, uh, no. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately released into the guardianship of custodial angels. And let's all pray he enjoys nature documentaries, because God knows that's all they fucking watch up there. Skittlebutt, we did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that... That due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. Just, uh, just glad we were here to answer the call of justice when the, uh, the phone rang. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The high courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok fuel pump sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot harder for us. I know it sounds selfish, but it, I, I, I don't know. There will be other ways, Milo. Come on, this isn't over yet. I guess the silver lining is we never have to see Polly again. Well, this is great. We probably just messed our only way out of hell, because we only got one seal, and he said to get two seals from the monarchs. Milo? Lola? Uh, maybe. Apollyon wants to see you. Immediately. Go to first and it's her right now. She's waiting for you at the school you're struggling. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Yeah, it's over. Let me 
just Oh my god, I just realized uh, I just realized we were going the wrong way because we talked to that weird lady and I'm pretty sure is naked now because we just took her only piece of clothing. Even you know, this is this is L and uh, we all know what they do down here. We just saw it a couple a couple minutes ago and it might have scarred some of you guys. Demons just go in all over each other. It was on the left, yeah. How are we gonna get inside? We need a demon disguise. They're not gonna let us in if we have a de- if we're- Milo, why do you have your giant brick phone out? Like, that doesn't look like a regular phone. It's too big. Okay, I'm just gonna cut back to when we finally find her. Cause God, okay, I don't know what happened there. Okay, okay guys, so I'm back and uh, I didn't find her, but I was on the way to go find her, but then I heard voices and Sam wasn't there and then one of those oh, yeah, losers that starts hard. to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. And everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormhorn, okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. What? I'm sorry, I, you're so much stronger than I am physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. You know, I bet your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a pathetic security guard demon just to sneak into the House of Lies, and then you outparty a monarch of Hades as Modius. <laughs> That's really something. Mm -hmm. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Jesus, Doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money, saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise, assholes, but still. All right, who the hell cares what Lola's sisters think about her now, Wormhorn? Hey, I don't care about anything except doing an excellent job excellently. She's the one that cares what her sisters think. No, I don't. At least, not as much as I like, used to. Previously on oh, Lola's she... dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. And lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even yeah. engage. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. What? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal site. Just ignore them, Lola. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the almighty, in the uh, fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday yep. dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Yeah, no, we're definitely not here because Lola read the Odyssey of the HMS Beagle or whatever. Uh, don't be so sure. God doesn't really appreciate vanity. It's not vanity. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. 
Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because that's... Because there's, there's still time. time. Okay, there's still time enough to do something about... about everything. At least, time enough for somebody to do something, if we don't make it back. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family, and you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah really. really. Oh, really? Yes, really. Really? really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the truck, uh, I'd just mine, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this code so close to hell, then? Ugh, fine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And, uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So. Sorry? What did she Apology do? Apology accepted. But really, don't worry about it. How do we even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back oh, to the Strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Well, I hope so. <sighs> and once we're finished with this, I can finally get rid of that stupid lag that's been going on ever since, you know. <gasps> oh, this is a place in the trailer. Okay. Yeah, this is a place in the... Oh, yeah. No, we've already been here before. Hey, it's these guys that's been hanging here for almost all eternity. Where can we meet Alara the the or whatever her name is? A part of the monarchs. I think it's gonna be here. Strange. You thought about becoming an attorney, right? Um, what? I'm talking to Lola. You wanted to be a lawyer? At one point, I think, while you were bopping around campus. Um, yeah, I did. At one point, before I died. <sighs> you thought you were doing the right thing. Like Vortigern inviting the Jutes and losing Britain in the process. Like you giving Greg to Fella in exchange for his invitation. You were trying to do the right thing. Is that why you let Roberta go to heaven? To meet God. And to be disappointed. Uh, you know what, Polly? I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Okay, and he's probably where he's supposed to be now because of it. It's where we're supposed to be too, you know? You sure about that? Standing as you are, in hell? Don't try to confuse the issue, Polly. Of the three of us, only two of us have souls. You do, that's true. But I had wings. Let's have a drink, come on. Oh yeah, Contests off. of drunken endurance are as old as simians. But the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. Serfs dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Huh, sounds a little familiar. Except, didn't they take baths like once a year? I don't take baths ever. Yeah, but you shower. Yes. You have sewers and sanitation now, and... Sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but until then, you can get toilet paper online, so. The yeah, point is, people here. have always drunk to excess, drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, and wrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day. And you can't dodge the bill collector forever. So, 
What are you saying exactly? That, yeah, what, what are that you getting saying drunk exactly? is just deluding yourself into thinking you're happy? Because, yeah, I've been trying to tell Milo that since he still wore board shorts. But drinking and having fun is fine in moderation. Everything's fine in moderation, except uh, animal cruelty. The problem is, Satan doesn't appreciate moderation. He gets it from his father. We're actually about to have a drink How long does it take to clean a fucking bathroom? Huh? I texted Father Van Dyke to let everyone back in. Look, guys, Roberto is going to be a piece of something happening tonight. His absence will make it more difficult, but it is still going to happen. So, I'm going to drink with you now because you did what you thought was right. And if that annoys me tonight, I can still respect it tomorrow. Sound good? Let's go. Bring it on. I'm... We're good. We're set. Let's do this. Let's do this, yeah. Ready. One last, one last seal, and then we can finally stack the out shot. Of here. Stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a two, and. Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning. Man, why are you so good at this? Keep going, keep going, almost there. That's not stable. Awesome, you're doing it. Oh yeah, Xbox achievement. That's earache. Let's get it. Well done. Well done. Can't remember the last time I did that. Honestly. Wait just a sec. Someone's texting me about where the death by fires get processed. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Okay, you want my seal of approval? Yes, please. I think you earned it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, awesome. Cool. You should see what I can do with a yo-yo. Walk the dog and everything. Well, if there isn't anything else, I should really get back to my soon-to-be eventful night. Uh, do you, by chance, know how we died? Because, uh, because I really can't remember. Well, wait, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Because it's yeah. not a truth for everyone. Yeah, I... Car accident, the stoplight at Oak Grove. I didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Well, okay. Okay, kids. Look to the mad prophet. I was... We want to hold fast to our senses and to our faith in them. And think their consequences through to the end. Think about the consequences of tonight. Before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. <laughs> what do you think that means? Who knows? All I care about is... I won my first court case, motherfuckers. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're happy. Pray we didn't completely screw ourselves down the road when we needed Polyon's help. We only needed her help for the seal, and we got it. So, poo on you, let's ramble. Guys, uh, what is this achievement for? The tale of the treacherous, uh, the treacherous trial got Apocalypse a seal. Hold up a second, let me just see how much more... Oh, I thought... I thought I was... Okay. Waste 20 minutes on bicker. Play a perfect game of beer pong. Don't miss a step while dance... Okay. They wanted, they wanted me to restart the game and do all of this. And I definitely wasn't about to go do that. But this is where it ends, guys. The next... <laughs> that uh, was a little scary back there with Polly. I that, mean, the okay, I'm just gonna put this on. That this next episode is probably gonna be the last episode of After Party, just because we're gonna go to the middle of the Isles Leaf, or however you say it. Right now we're in the River of Fire, but soon we're gonna be able to finally get out of hell, which is gonna be great. But uh, hopefully you guys did this video by me, Mr. Washington. If you guys did this video, don't like, comment, subscribe. This is Mr. Washington, and catch you guys.